with us. We've got it ready to go right here and right now, except that there is a dog collar that belongs around another neck. And Joe, right now, Buzz Sawyer is not ready to permit anything to happen to that other collar except to knock Hacksaw Duggan down. So Sawyer has the chain. Sawyer has the collar. And Hacksaw Jim Duggan is watching the tantalizing moves. He doesn't want to get caught in the middle. <laughs> To putting that collar on while his opponent is more than, than ready. Ah, this is a battle of wits as well as a battle of skills, a battle of violence. Sure, any sport is a violent sport because physical contact is always violent to people who don't like physical contact. But these people here in the Coliseum they like physical contact and they anticipate it and they are ready for it. So, evidently, the mad dog started something by making it difficult to get that collar on and he was about ready for it. Now, you just keep your eyes on this one. This is something you have not seen. Now the bell sounds and the focal point is that chain to shorten the distance and to keep your opponent from gathering up enough of that chain to be able to use it on you. You hear the cry, you hear the Dugan, Dugan and you see Dugan who believes that maybe his fist can do just as much to the mad dog as the chain, but now he'll try the chain. Hard to swing it, but this chain is doubled up in two or four lengths by the time he gets it, and there goes mad dog. And he is literally headed back in the ring or else he's not going to go anywhere. He's asking for time out in a dog fight. No. Now as they maneuver around, this crowd here watches closely and they keep their eye on them. Now, there have been strap matches, there have been rope matches, there are bell rope matches in Texas. There are many, many names for battles of this kind. But the toughest of them all is the one you are watching right now, the one that takes these two fellows and puts them in with a chain wrapped around their neck. And Buzz Sawyer has been flattened on this canvas as Duggan, who is at least a hefty St. Bernard, and uh, with that man lying there, he is taking no chances. He knows that the winds can change quickly, and now as he gets out on the floor, he is taking Buzz Sawyer right along with him. The two of them are on the floor alongside of us. They are using the barricade around the ring right now. And as Duggan grabs hold of him, he decides that the ring post would be the best place to test his head. And test it he did. Sawyer gets back in the ring. Sawyer rolls across that canvas, tries to stay away from Duggan. He tried to reach out. There's a little demonstration of the kind of strength that um, Sawyer is up against when he, when he meets this rugged, stubborn, uh, iron backbone Hacksaw Duggan. <clears throat> and Buzz Sawyer caught that last one as he came off of that rope. There's one, there's two, and there was two and a half. That was almost three as referee Tommy Gilbert that time was on the way down. But as Sawyer gets up to his feet, he has the chain partly in his hand and he is able to use it almost like a glove. 
You see him now as he tries to literally tie Hacksaw Duggan into the into the rope itself. Duggan now has suddenly found out how it feels to have that thing catch you alongside the jaw. And Sawyer, as he pursues him out there, doesn't mean to let uh, Duggan get even a moment's respite out of this. He smashed him into the barricade. And that barricade is solid, hard to move, and just about hard enough to drive a guy down in, into it. Now the crowd trying to get Dugan chant going. And the crowd so worry about Dugan, they're not so sure that they want to chant right now. I think some of them are sitting there just hoping and hoping and hoping that he recovers from this attack and can get up on that canvas and take after him. There is Duggan on the floor and waiting for him down on an all fours position up in the ring is the mad dog himself. And he decided to go out and do something about it. But again, you're making use of the, of, of the surroundings. Sawyer looking well pleased with him. Now you hear it. Now, now they've decided that it's time for him to really hear a roar with his name in there. And as Duggan gets up in that ring, he is trying to recover. And he came close that time. Sawyer is trying to make him eat part of that chain. Duggan is bleeding from his hard, hard contact with the chain and with the post and with the barricade around the ring. Five minute mark has gone by. And it seems to me like watching the intensity of this that they've been wrestling for an hour. Five minutes have gone by and they have taken an inordinate amount of, of punishment. Duggan down and Sawyer as he maneuvers around looks for a place to use that chain. And Duggan lets out a bellow. He is howling at the moon, if you will. And he is taking the punishment. And now he is roused. And as he turns around to blast Mad Dog Buzz Sawyer, this tremendous Coliseum crowd goes utterly crazy, roaring their approval. And, and Sawyer, stretched out, laid out by that pounding clothesline. Hard to call it a clothesline when there's a chain uh, in there being used, but that's the nature of the move, whether it's done with a clothesline or an arm or a chain. There's one, there's two, and Sawyer was just able to maneuver his way out of that predicament. Sawyer underneath, and Hacksaw pounces on top of him. Hacksaw sinks his teeth into Buzz Sawyer's ear, and as he rises up, he's got a grin on his face. Sawyer is having trouble rising. Duggan is welcoming him to the land of the standing. He wants to knock him down again. And as he rises up to his feet, there is the, the boxing lesson. The jab coming out there and setting him down and, and he disappeared. Buzz Sawyer is coming up again. Sawyer now brought in within range. Oh, as he swings around, he comes around to lay that in there tightly. And as Sawyer is on his feet, he is being held up there by Duggan. And Duggan laid a right hand blow a smashing right hand blow into the jaw of Buzz Sawyer and he is taking all of that chain up in his bloody hand and is ready to pound it in there. There he goes again and again and and Duggan just howled out he's mine he's mine and Sawyer made a move to Get out of the predicament that he, well, he's still Duggins. Sawyer is caught. He's wrapped up in the ropes. 
He's hanging on to the rope to try to avoid being pulled in over, under, or through the ropes. The referee trying to get him into the ring, and it's the Volga Boatman song here, I'll tell you. Man is in trouble. That is a man who has a chain around, uh, that is dragging him against that steel cable in, in, the, in the ropes. Duggan on the outside. There is the move on, on, the, on the inside. And Duggan doesn't take a backward step. He's got his opponent out on the floor. And as he goes through the ropes, he just follows him along and decides that he's not going to let him go any further. Sawyer's having trouble. Sawyer's being whoops. He's being battered. Let's put it that way. And there is a cruel fall for Hacksaw. Hacksaw's opposition, that's Buzz Sawyer, watching that Buzz Sawyer, looking for the telltale signs. Will he be able to rise up to his feet? And Sawyer looking for timeout. And this time all he's getting is a little bit more chain and a little bit more as Duggan moves in, straightens him up, and decides he's going to do something with him. He's whirling him around and over the ropes. He was whirling him around there, but I want to tell you, he, if, if he had been able to throw him out to the top rope, uh, uh, oh, man. Man down is Hacksaw Duggan. Man on top is Buzz Sawyer, and Hacksaw Duggan just got clobbered in a, of course, no disqualification match, and a match that has brought out the roughest in, in both of them. A wild battle as Hacksaw Jim Duggan is counted down in this ring. We'll leave Hacksaw Duggan right now as he rises up to his feet, we hope. Ladies and gentlemen, 